Hey, what's up garden friends? Uh, Kevin here to talk to you today about killing insects with soap. Controlling those little garden pests uh, can be a bother sometimes. What, often if you're like me, you want to go organic, you don't want to use certain you know, chemical pesticides and things like that to control that. You also want to try to limit your spraying altogether. And so today I'm going to talk to you about a way that you can spray your plants, actually have to be sprayed directly on the insect you wanted to kill, this contact pesticide. And I'm talking about soap. Um, here I actually have some dish soap. Uh, which sometimes you'll see people their home remedies like hey I'm in my garden I'm killing insects with some soap da 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 you could use this but I'm, in today's video I'm really going to talk to you about not using this kind of soap and really maybe if you are going to explore kill, you know using soap uh, as a pesticide trying to get your hands on some insecticidal soap as opposed to dish uh, dishwashing liquid or detergent this is just too strong it, it strips it off it's, it can be phytotoxic uh, to your plants and so this is something I really want to urge you against. Uh, nothing against Dawn, you know, it does great here washing dishes and things like that. But um, it has all these ingredients that I really don't need out in my garden. Um, and there's other products that I, you know, I'm not going to name them by brand, but you can go out and explore that are insecticidal soaps that will be directly targeted and designed and calibrated to uh, hopefully reduce the shock to your plants and increase its effectiveness on getting rid of those, those target insects. And so uh, for one reason why I like to use this is because it targets certain types of insects, small, soft-bodied insects. I was out in the garden the other day doing a video and I noticed while I was filming, I'm like, oh, I've got, got some young scale starting to kind of proliferate and uh, live on this citrus tree. Time to kind of think of something. If it's really, really hot, sometimes the, our, my normal sprays like neem oil or horticultural oils, it, uh, they can have uh, some burning issues or just some negative uh, effects from the, from the heat, using it in the heat. So, Soap can be a great op uh, option, an opportunity really to kind of control these pests. It's a direct contact spray. So if you're gonna use this, you, you can't just spray your plant lightly and just hope that anything that comes in contact with that eventually will die. It's like, no, you need to have a, a spray go directly. Your soapy suds need to go directly on that insect. Those aphids, those white fly, those mites, those young scale, it needs to go directly on them. So uh, it's, that's just something to consider. So, which is also kind of nice, because if you're looking where you're spraying and you're actually targeting the, the pest insects, you're not gonna not too worried about um, leaving some, some residue behind for something else to die. Like say you really, if you're like me, you really enjoy and appreciate ladybugs in your garden. You'd, you would have to cover a ladybug. I mean, you'd have to just completely drench it in most insecticidal soaps for it to have a negative impact. It really targets those smaller soft bodied insects uh, I think scientists are still trying to figure out exactly how it does, but for everything from what I've gathered is it, it dries them out. It, it affects the, their, their waxy coating on their body, affects um, their, their, the flow of liquids in their body, and they just dry out. Um, sometimes I've seen this, I've uh, used uh, to kill insects, but only use this to kill insects. Really, if you're spraying it like on the ground or away from your plants and you really have nothing else. What's nice about this, I guess it's cheaper than insecticidal soap. So. If you want to do that to kill insects, maybe consider it, but I would recommend not doing it on your plants, right? Or anywhere near your plants. Try to focus on using insecticidal soaps, actual soaps that, um, I think it's potassium of fatty acids or whatever. They have, uh, they have an ingredient in there that's basically, that's, it's the one thing that you're going to see in all the insecticidal soaps. And it's one thing that kind of connects them all. And it makes them really effective. So compared to using, the, uh, try not to use a dishwashing liquid. Try to find those little boogers, those little bugs, and get a proper insecticidal soap. Um, they're, like I said, they're gonna be less harsh, they're not gonna be quite as phytotoxic. Now, some plants are still a little um, sensitive to certain soaps. So um, some of the soaps might have a list on there, peas and cherries and plums and certain things. I just don't really enjoy it. But um, it really, look at the labeling, um, do your own research. Um, don't just listen to me. But, but I would say consider if you have bugs and it's still too warm or you're either you ran out of neem oil and you want to try something different uh consider insecticidal soaps it's a pretty cool option we use it a lot in the garden at the school like i said it's very targeted we're not just out spraying everything all the time it's usually when we have an infestation what i like to do is i'll go in and try to blast them off physically with a jet of water um come back later um then i'll spray them down with some soap and if you really are afraid of leaving on some residue that might harm your plant spray your spray your bugs give them a few hours and then go back and then blast all that residue off um, if, if you're you know, concerned about any damage to your plant, you know, your, if you have plants that are sensitive or very precious to you. But I'm telling you, I've had a lot of success 
it's a great way to control some of those like for me aphids and white fly and all these ones that i've listed they're they're some of the heavy hitters for my garden um so it's just something to you know it's nice to have something else in there that's not just spinosad or the uh, neem oil or horticulture oils or any other um organic oils and things like that that you can use to usually control some of these insects it's nice to have one more option so so check out insecticidal soaps um do your research on them and uh, i'd say give it a shot like i said if you really just want to go out there and fill a bucket up and you're gonna go pluck some larger uh bugs and throw them into a bucket and you just need a surfactant something that uh, allows them to sink into the water then you can go this route it's cheap it's affordable um and you can do that but just don't spray it on your plants friends well, I hope this video helped. If, if you stayed this long, please, I appreciate that. Like, share, subscribe, um, and spread the message out, man. And sex huddle soaps, it's a, it's a great uh, way to control some of these pest populations without doing too much damage to our plants, the environment, or other insects as well. Well, uh, until next time, garden friends, happy gardening to you all, and please never stop growing.